I have a really good friend, she's Sicilian, and one of the traditions in Sicily is that on Halloween morning, children would wake up and find gifts from deceased members of their family. And this allowed parents a way of communication about their ancestors with their children. And in one part of Sicily, it's called the Night of Sugar, because it's just all about the kids and eating sweets and having this connection with their past. So we asked the students if they wanted to base their home economics project on memories of an ancestor. And we gave them like a few questions to try and you know, figure out what they might talk about. And then we worked with them, like, well, what visual image would you like to take from that? I came into the school and I brought my felt materials, wool roving and sheets of felt. And they had a lot of ideas from flowers to tractors to sunsets. So I instructed how they could use the fibre to draw that image that they had in their mind of their ancestors. We had to pick a coloured background and then pick different coloured walls and gently like separate them and lay them down on the background to try and create this picture. It was a lot of fun, it was something different for a home ec class. It kind of sparked a few memories as well when we were in the process of doing it. So during that process they were talking about like who they're doing their project on. So it kind of opens up that space for them. The process is really lovely, it's, it's, your, it's very tactile and there is that kind of uncertainty or unknown because of the layers of wool that you put on it and how much are you going to felt it and it's going to shrink for you. It's magical in a way, it does its own thing. Today was about going back to the idea of the, the night of sugar, like this is a celebration, thinking about people in the past, it doesn't always have to be a sad thing. Have your fun, eat your cake, have a bit of mess. They could write about what the project meant to them or why they did it. That so many people have a similar memory. It kind of may create kind of that bond among all the students of supporting each other through times where they may miss someone. Having funding for this project, it's the fact that it gives their work extra status because we're now linked with something outside our school. Our work is important and that gives the students kind of a sense of pride that their ideas are important and that it's worthwhile doing a project.